So you want to rank as high as you can on Google, but it's a competitive space and you're busy with backlinks and a bunch of other SEO strategies. But there's one super underrated SEO tactic that directly helps your blogs get more organic traffic. Very few people actually use this properly, but we have all seen a massive result from it, right from Ahrefs to our own blog at Malcare. And if you've tried it, but not gotten much of a result from it, it's because you've not actually done it properly. Okay, enough suspense. Here's the reveal. I'm talking about a growth framework for internal linking. If you're a beginner and that sounds a little technical, please don't worry. It's actually quite simple, like most effective things are. But the nuances that I'll share with you today will make all the difference between getting a great result and a so-so one. Now, internal links are simply links that connect one page of your website to another page within the same website. And there's three types of them. Like here in the header, do you see links like shop, blog, and about? These are navigational links. You can click on them and they guide visitors to all the major areas of your site. Now, look at this blog post. Can you see this line here? That's a contextual link. It takes you deeper into specific topics or products like this without overwhelming you with information in the same post. Now, let's scroll up. And these small links at the top are showing you the path from home to where you are now. And these are called the breadcrumb links. They show you where you are on the site. Now, finally, at the bottom of the page, these links are the footer links. They are for finding important pages that you don't often visit. Now, to make internal linking work, step one is to make sure that your site isn't so slow that if someone clicks on a link, the page takes too long to load. Most people aren't even aware that this is happening to their site. So to find out, open Google PageSpeed, enter our site URL like this, and click Analyze. Now, if our site score is less than 90, then we need to first fix this because our site is already too slow. Now, there's a few other speed plugins in the market, but they're either paid or have hundreds of settings, which beginners like me can't understand. So my team made our own speed plugin called Airlift, which is completely free. They've built successful plugins before, so you can trust they know their stuff. After installing Airlift, you just need to add your site and with one click, it does everything needed to make your site up to three times faster and get a 90 plus score like this. There's no hidden conditions here and it's free. So you can keep it activated to keep your site fast. So click the link in description and you can use it first. Then move on to the next step. All right, now we need to do a content audit to find out how each part of your site is performing. We'll use a bot to thoroughly scan every page from blog posts to product pages. This bot will track page views, check all the links and help us identify what's attracting visitors and what needs to be improved. So to perform an audit, we use a free tool called SEMrush. So let's open our browser, go to this link, and then log into SEMrush. Now, if you don't have an account, you can sign up for it here. Once logged in, enter your site's domain name in this section, and then click on Start Site Audit. You can customize these crawler settings if needed, but the default settings work well for most sites. Now, SEMrush will begin analyzing your site. This might take a few minutes, depending on your site size. Once the audit is complete, click here, and view the full site audit report. Now navigate to the internal linking card and click on view details. Here you'll find five key insights. Pages scroll depth shows how many clicks away each page is from the home page. So we can use this to make important pages more accessible. Internal links displays the number of internal links across your pages. This helps us analyze which pages need more links. Now internal link distribution indicates how well link equity is distributed across your site, and we ideally want it to be balanced across our site. Internal link issues shows any problems that need to be fixed immediately. And this shows your strongest pages. So we can use this to distribute link equity effectively. Now let's see how we can set up an internal link structure by first planning the linking framework. I'll show you how to use the pyramid structure, which creates a logical hierarchy from the top down, where the top page links to the secondary pages, which in turn link to more specific pages. So make sure that similar pages and products are categorized into the same category and subcategories as well. So to add categories, let's go to our WordPress dashboard, go to posts, select a post and click edit. On the right panel, let's go to the post tab and scroll down to categories. Under categories, click on add new category, enter the category name like this, and click on add new category. Now you can create multiple categories like this, and select the categories relevant for the post, and click on update. 
This will show the search engines that a site is well organized and structured. Now let's focus on linking to the internal pages that matter the most. If you run an e-commerce site, you'll want to highlight key products or services. So this is my site. I have added the important products on the home page of my site. Now let's see how to add a featured post section like this and click on edit with Elementor. So let's hover over products, select all products, choose the particular products that you want to be featured. Uh, click here, choose edit and hit the apply button. Now change the featured box to yes like this and click update here. Now another method is to click on the star icon here in the featured column to add your product to the featured category. Now contextual relevance is the main key when it comes to internal linking. You need to link to content that provides additional information on the topic at hand in a natural way. For example, in this blog post about coffee, we can link to a page that explains the types of coffee, which will be incredibly helpful for our readers. So to link it, let's go to our dashboard, navigate to posts and click on all posts. Select the post you want to add the link to. Now let's select the anchor text and click on this icon and paste the page we want to link it to. Now, throughout this process, remember that internal linking is not just about SEO. It's also about creating a user-friendly experience, making your content more navigable and ensuring that your visitors find the value that they're looking for on your site. Also, website speed is a huge factor in improving your SEO. So check out this video next, where I'll show you how to triple your website speed with a free speed plugin.